Hey, yo, Galactus is in the spotlights this week. This list right here by KX is my personal favorite Galactus list because it's not just a one-dimensional Galactus list. And it feels really solid going into all these Arisha matchups as well because your opponent never knows what's coming next. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, of course, the main man of the hour is Galactus over here, which is a 6-5 on reveal. If you're winning at this location and this is your only card at this location, destroy all other locations. Galactus has been around in Marvel Snap for a long time, was originally not released as a card until series came out and he was a big bad. Um, and now he's in a very interesting spot with the way that the meta is kind of shaping up. But with this list right here, it's not just a one-dimensional Galactus list. And it's a not very expensive Series 4, Series 5 card list. So, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And I'm going to give you guys a couple substitutions if you do not have the cards in this list. Alrighty. Like I was saying, it's not super expensive. Not saying it's not expensive, though. Um, you still do have about Blink, X-23, Galactus... Null and Eliath, so five out of seven cards are Series 4 or higher. Um, the other cards in this list, of course, you Blink was a Season Pass card. X-23 has been in spotlights a couple times. Um, Galactus has been in spotlights multiple times now. Same with Null. Um, Eliath has only been in spotlights, I believe, two times. Or, yeah, only been in spotlights two times, and it's coming back in a spotlights in September. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty straightforward list. Blink's not going to be in spotlights for a minute. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into what eCarch does individually. And as always, the deck code will be down in the description below, as well as a link to KX's Twitch and his Twitter, so you can see his content as well. Alrighty, so first and foremost, we got X23 in this list. X23 is a very interesting card in this list. You're using X23 to, of course, you know, get destroyed by either Killmonger or Venom because those are the only two main destroy cards you're using in this list. Using X-23 on turn one and then using a Killmonger or a Venom on turn three enables you to play Blink on turn five. That is how you start your ramp. Um, so that is the main usage for X-23 over here or you're potentially using Killmonger and Venom on turn five if you no longer have Electro on the board um, in order to have eight energy going into your final turn. Um, or it's it just gets a really interesting. Um, you could also do it in such a way where you're playing Venom and Wave. If you play Venom and Wave onto turn five as well, and you Venom the X-23 and you Wave, that gives you eight energy going into turn six, which does allow you to play two six drops on turn six as another line. So that's one of the main conditions you would be using X-23 for to either start your ramp or help your ramp later on in the game. Next card we have over here is Electro. So it's a kind of still we're talking about like a classic ramp. You're using Electro in this situation to blink out the Electro for your top end. The most expensive cards in your list are going to be your Blink and then Null, Galactus, Ultron, Destroyer, Eliath, and Death. So... If you blink out Electro, you're guaranteed to hit a 6-drop or higher. You don't have any cards that cost more in this list. So that's what you're doing with Electro. Potentially, you're destroying your Electro so you can just have that 6 energy to mess around with on turn 5 to play wherever you'd like or play multiple cards as well. Um, but that is the main usage of what you're doing with Electro in this list to ramp it up. Next, you have Killmonger. And like I said, with Killmonger, um, you're using this to hit X-23 in order to have 5 energy onto turn 4 if you don't have Electro down. Or you're using this to destroy your Ultron bots so you can get a free death depending on what exactly was pulled earlier. Um, so that's why you have Killmonger in this list for some death value, some null value, um, and just to continue to start your ramp. Venom in this list as well. is like I'm saying, you're using for ramp. With the X-23, you can also use this to eat potentially your Electro, eat your Blink, eat your Wave, um, enabling you to be able to drop extra power with your Null, um, using this later on in the game to potentially have extra energy to play two different cards, um, opposed to just one card. It's just another Destroy card instead of like Carnage, so you can actually get some extra power um, with Venom to give you some more Null value as well, so you can have two big cards on the board. Um, you have Wave in this list as another Ramp Enabler. Um, you're using this to be able to get either some of your six drops out early. Maybe you want to get Ultron out on turn four and then Killmonger all the Ultron bots to get some death value and then some null value. 
because more often than not, if you have no other cards on the board besides Wave and Ultron, and you play Ultron into the Wave lane, that brought, brings eight Ultron bots onto the board, which when you kill longer all those Ultron bots, you get a free death, and then your Null also gets 16 power because that is eight different Ultron bots with two power. So that allows you to drop potentially 28 power onto your final turn. Um, which is very um, wild and an interesting kind of tech that you can do um, in this list, which I really like. Um, or you're using this, of course, to drop your Galactus early. Maybe you want to drop Destroyer early, clear the board, so your opponent has to really guess where where you're playing the rest of your stuff. Um, you can use it for potential early Eliath. Um, you can even use it for Death, if Death's the only card in your hand. So this is just kind of just another enabler to help you pour out your top end from your hand. And then, of course, I'm talking about we have Blink in here. Blink hitting either Wave, Electro, Killmonger, Venom, X-23. Um, it can hit pretty much any of these cards and give you your top end. X-23, of course, if you do Blink out with X-23, um, X-23 can still turn into one of the three drops, but you are guaranteed to hit something higher than a three drop, which is going to be one of your five, six drops, or your single eight drop as death. Um, with Blink on one of your three drops. So that is why you have Blink in this list, to be able to reach and pull from your deck the card you really want. Yes, of course, there might be a variety of options. It depends on what you have in your hand. Um, but that's the main usage you're using Blink, is just to reach your top end in this list. Of course, we have Null. Null is an ongoing and has all of the power of the cards you have destroyed. So if you do a Galactus on turn four, and your opponent has a lot of cards on the board, you have a lot of cards on the board, Null will absorb said power and become bigger. Especially if your opponent does have these cards on the board and stuff, it does enable you to also get your death to be cheaper as well. Um, so it feels pretty solid. Even into some of these Aerosha matchups, if you can just kind of ro like go around the board the right way, your opponent not necessarily um, knows where they're supposed to throw their blob, or if they throw their blob in the wrong lane, that is a lot of power for your null. And of course, I was talking about Galactus earlier. Galactus only works if he's the only card in this location. So you're using this to potentially get blinked out with Electro. So you play Electro, you blink your Electro. Wherever Electro was is where your new card, of course, spawns. So you could do this for a potential Galactus play. You could do this for a different six drops play. You could do this for a, a just... Maybe you're trying to get just power all over the board and you get Destroyer down instead. It gives you priority to be able to play Galactus wherever you would like, as long as, of course, you're winning the lane. Um, but you're trying to get Galactus off on turn four or turn five. Sometimes you can get it off on turn six. It just really depends on the board space. But especially in a lot of the matchups we had with Arishim, you're trying to get it off on um, either four or five, and then you'll follow it up with Eliath. Ultron is in this list as another big bad, um, even though he's a Series 3 card. Um, so you have you have Ultron in here to be able to get into some lanes maybe you're not able to get into because the bots having two power now actually does make a load of difference. Um, and it's also good Killmonger fuel. Um, it could also be good in a lot of these locations and stuff too. Um, but Ultron is, is solid. That 6-8 to potentially drop in 16 powers and bot makes it potentially a 624 if you think about it. Um, and then you could get even bigger if like you play Ultron on curve. Instead of it being just a 624, if you do Killmonger them as well, that's 16 power to Venom, and then that, I don't know, Venom to Null, and then 12 power to Death. So then he's potentially a 636 overall for the majority of the game. So that's what you're doing with Ultron. You're not necessarily just praying to get Ultron all the time. If you do get Ultron from your Blink as well, um, you try to make sure you have space on some other lanes to be able to clear up board space for yourself so you're not completely boxed out from the Ultron bots. But it, it makes it makes sense, especially with a lot of still. I'm seeing a lot of storm. I'm still seeing some nocturne stuff. I'm seeing some like locations that just aren't the best. But being able to get into those locations, having Ultron bots is really solid. Um, and then of course we have Eliath. We're using Eliath in this list to kind of just stop combos. Um, you can tempo Eliath after a wave or after an electro um, to be able to stop some of these blobs. My best uses of Eliath still to this day, of course, is your Galactus into Eliath because. Um, if you're playing a lot of Arishim and people are actually expecting you to play your Galactus, you get your Galactus off. Their follow-up will be Blob. Eliath does go straight through the Blob text. Um, it also, if they're trying to do some Shang-Chi stuff, um, Blob also, of course, stops that because it's on reveal. Remove the text of any unrevealed cards here. So Eliath really pops off. There's an instance in here you'll actually see. Um, they, my opponent knows I have Null. Um, so they play Enchanters and Shang-Chi, but since I played Eliath and Death, it actually enabled me to win that game because it just discounted or discredited both the counters they had um, in that matchup, and it still just feels like it works really well with Galactus. 
And then, of course, we have Destroyer, like I was talking about. You're using this to kind of clear your board space. Um, so if you do get an early Ultron, if you do have your Electro, if you just have some debris and just stuff all over the board, playing a Destroyer on your turn 5 after ramp or potentially just on a turn 6 to clear everything up, honestly, it can work pretty well for you. That 16 power gives you priority to be able to do some Galactus stuff. Um, and it helps you just... Yeah, have board space and clear out some of the nasty stuff that people are just throwing over right now. So I really like Destroyer in this list as not a primary option, but it's definitely a secondary option for you. Um, and then, of course, we have Death. Um, we're destroying stuff either with Killmonger, we're destroying stuff with Venom. If you destroy all, do all of the Ultron bots, that is a free Death. Um, you also, if you just get Galactus off in the right way, sometimes that could also be a free Death. Um, some locations can help with death too. It's also not a bad card to blink out with Electro. Um, so that works well. Um, so that's like the general summary of this list. Going back on it, if you don't have a Lyoth in this list, um, I would go with maybe another top end six drop. Maybe you have a Red Hulk instead. Having Red Hulk just to have some extra power to be able to throw down onto a Galactus lane or just to have some extra power overall would work really well for you. Um, you could potentially even do maybe like an Orca or like, think of just Sandman stuff. Think of like a Dr. Doom. Um, those are kind of the things I'm thinking of um, when it comes to first substitution for this, um, especially because you're doing this stuff normally after a Galactus, which means you probably wouldn't do um, a Dr. Doom, but a Red Hulk could work in its place. Galactus is one of the key cards we're focusing on in this list. So that is why we're saying Galactus is a staple and you're not really taking out Galactus um, in this as well. Um, and then, like with Null, I was saying too, if you don't have Null at this point, you could also run Leader. Leader is not horrible, especially um, if you don't have your top end in here, because if your opponent does play a Blob down, your Leader will copy their Blob, even if they like don't have priority. It copies their Blob and absorbs power, which is really good for you, because more often than not, you're probably gonna get bigger than 15, unless you just instantly just eat a Destroyer, of course. Um, so that works really well. Blink is kind of a core card in this list. I don't really think you can swap Blink out. Um, she kind of really just helps you run in this. Um, if you were to maybe swap her out, maybe you add a different destroy card um, to be able to destroy your Electro, um, or you add in a Hobgoblin. So you go Hobgoblin instead of Blink. So if you go Electro, you go Hobgoblin, and then you just go Galactus. That also could be a way you could um, pilot this way instead of having the Blink being able to pull something out from your deck. Um, and then going back, Venom Series 3, Killmonger Series 2, um, Electro Series two series three and then if you don't have x23 um x23 is kind of just a ramp card to be able to have an alternate line instead of having to do electro stings um if you don't have x23 um you're honestly in a bit a bit of a pickle but like you could probably find a different way to play something out maybe you play a nebula instead just to have priority if you want to use that other um new spotlight card or you do like a jeff or a sunspot just something to have priority to be able to get some galactus payout um, is probably what I would use as an alternate option there. But we're going to go ahead and jump into some gameplay from stream. Um, if you guys do enjoy what you'd like as well, definitely feel free to come and watch me live on Twitch. My Twitch will be down in the description below. That is where this content is coming from. Um, and then I will see you guys at the end of the video. What's the best Hydra Bobliss? Probably Arishim. Arishim Hydra Bob probably would be the best one. You know? I think it would make the it would make the most sense. <sighs> well. Just me, just you know. Just seeing what happens. I don't know about you guys, but that's that's my thought. We snap this. We're dropping a destroyer. Destroyer is going to go burr. Um, which should enable us to play Galactus left. 
into a potential Alliath after. So I really like what we're setting up here. Galactus left wins us the game too. So, we got this. I believe in this. We lose like a Cosmo snipe here on the right. Or just the perfect Alliance on the right too. Also. Huh? Huh? Honestly, in hindsight, I don't play the Killmonger left, so I choked that play there. Yeah, no, I choked that play. Yeah, I, I, I will own that. I 100% choked that. We do win the game Victory. with the choke still. So, in hindsight, don't do that. Um, but I think that's a good list to start with. Um, I think destroys not a bad archetype to play, but you got to know when to snap and, ret and retreat. And I might not play it into some of these matchups over here. Sebastian Surfer is still good. Yes. Yeah. Yes, especially if you shawl. Muir Island just goes burr. If I can get a Galactus, I play Galactus middle in this situation because of the cloak. Or no, I play Galactus left, sorry. Um, yeah, we play Galactus middle, we never... Give this cool. Galactus middle goes off. There we go. There we go. We got the Galactus play. Chef's kiss. Space throne. Kitty pride. Monster Island's pretty cool. Katie 
try it again. Hmm. We are going to do... I haven't played Sebastian in a bit, but I'll give it a try. I'm right, using Hope Summers like with Kitty Pride, Scar, Kyra. Ooh, that's interesting. That is interesting. Kitty Pride. Iron Fist. Human Torch. Interesting. So, Center Plus playing some iteration of Moo. We get Galactus off again. We're just never punished, I guess, right? Galactus right never fails us. Galactus. Think we should have snapped here. That's that's something over here. Probably should have snapped in there. That would that would have been better cube management. You guys are right. Wait, Nico, Kitty Pride. Okay, that is true. We have to snap them with. Uh, this is also just going forward. Definitely a. This gives us eight energy on this next turn. Do we need eight energy though? I did this to get some more Venom value. And so it alleviates a little bit of board space for us. Kitty Pride into Black Swan. I need like a top deck null here. See, that would, that would have been the perfect line because we had the Electro, we had the Blink, but Okay, 100% playing around the null was the move. Holy moly's, bro. Oh, that's even better for us. That is even better forge. Oh, we're playing, we're playing quite again. Yeah. Um, why they gotta make another 7k destroyer bundle? Yeah, and it's a great variant. Great variant. Oh, Sinister. Loving the stream? Yo, thank you, Young. I appreciate you. Thank you for the kind words. Rest thank in you for the kind words. Bro, no! X23, go somewhere else! Go somewhere I mean, I guess it doesn't even matter at this point, but like, we were hoping X23 went somewhere else. They draw their cards. We don't draw our cards. Absorbing man. Oh. Okay. Valid. You are mine. Valid. X23 just don't get right. I mean, I know Koi knows we're playing Galactus. Koi does know this. But we still have to. Because if they play a four cost or something, it's gonna go over to another location. Patriot! Zabu! Sweet, we have it. Perfect! The lack is going off. Impressive. There we go. Not enough sauce. Rest in peace. Not enough sauce.
The games are doing pretty good, Ace. How are you doing, bro? Is it ever this and this instead? Because they played Zabu with Patriot, I think something crazy. It's like gonna be. It's gonna be like a um, a super scroll or something. Super scroll or something here. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, oh my gosh. Victory. Okay. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you guys stuck around till the end, please let me know who your favorite X-Men character is. I will see you guys again on Saturday. You guys have a good one. Tucker out.